Welcome back to Hammerdroids.net. Um, today on Hammerdroids, I'm going to take a look at something a little bit different. It's not actually um, an app. It is in fact a website, which uh, you might be thinking, why on earth are we going to be looking at a website? But I, think, I know it's something that's very popular. And it's the BBC iPlayer. They've recently uh, given it a bit of an overhaul on mobile. There are some prerequisites. You have to be on Wi-Fi and you have to have 2.2 Froyo um, on your device. If you're lucky enough to have those, here we can see it is a very smooth, very nicely presented. You saw how quickly it loaded um, website. Uh, we have the different tabs along the top as you'd expect, TV, radio. We also get favorites. Um, we can search, we can look at particular channels. Um, we can look at different particular categories. Um, so let's open some of it up. We're going to open up Top Gear. Everyone likes Top Gear. So I tap on Top Gear. Tell them there, Episode 1. We're going to load up. There you go, Series 15, Episode 1. Um, gives us some information on the bottom look. We can add it to Favourites. It tells us how long it is, one hour. It tells us it expires in 19 days. So obviously with iPlayer it's not all there forever, they do only they have a limited time. It gives us a bit of a write-up and uh, it tells us the actual date that it's available until. So, as you can see it says click to resume. Oh yeah, because I did start watching this, so we're going to resume apparently. Let's have a look. We're going to go into landscape mode. See how quickly it loads. Like I say we are on Wi-Fi, I do have very fast internet, so and it is in fact resumed from I was, I was testing. The lap record of the from the 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 up. So that's a pretty good picture. How well you guys can uh, can see it. That's a very nice looking picture. If uh, if my screen was a little bit bigger, I can imagine watching that. Um, as you see, you can you can skip out. It's not all that reliable. Come on. Oh dear, in fact, we've gone back into regular mode. See if we can get it back. There we go. So I'm trying to I'm trying to demonstrate that you can skip ahead. Maybe I'll slide mode. There we go. So it's doing it this time. As you can see, that's really not very accurate. So if you were trying to find a particular point, if you are trying to find a particular point, you're going to struggle, I think, to to do it in any kind of accurate way but I mean as you can see that's that's still just a fantastic picture um, it's a shame it's only Wi-Fi if I let's put that to the test let me change let's turn Wi-Fi off a lot now has it just detected already that I'm not on what's it gonna do <laughs> it pretty much looks to have. Uh... Oh no! So I'm now on 3G, and that's actually still a very good picture, which worries me. <laughs> how much bandwidth am I going to use um, playing this? So there's obviously no kind of scaling um, now that I'm on 3G. It's not detected that I'm on 3G and adjusted, as you can see at the top there, look. There's no Wi-Fi, I am 3G, but as you can see, it is playing. Hello. Um, and it, unfortunately, it doesn't give you any information on, um, on how big a file this video file is. Unlike some of the apps that we have seen, the uh, Beeb Player app used to tell us how big the file was for Wi-Fi and for 3G. There is now one called My Player, MY Player which you can use and that works over 3G um, and that does scale it as well if it's on 3G it realises that and scales it down um, but all in all uh, shame it's not an actual app and I would assume by them doing this that they're saying well we probably won't do an app you just need to be happy with Flash um, but I don't know, keep our fingers crossed hopefully they'll give us a proper app that scales for 3G that means we can watch it while we're out and about um, but otherwise the iPlayer mobile website, yeah, pretty good very good picture, very user friendly, very well laid out, um, I would recommend it. There we go, hemadroids.net.